Hello, and welcome to a very lucky edition of my um, drawing tutorials. It's a fact, almost, um, that y you've seen anime in some form. Uh, probably seen it as a kid on TV, or even in movies. But everyone wants to know how to draw them, so today, you lucky people, you are going to find out just how to do that. So, with anime, the most important place to start, usually, I find, is the uh, the head area. So, just draw a circle. Circles are, that's more of an oval. But let's just add to this. Just add a, a jawline. Yeah, yeah. So then you can just rub all that out. Oh, that's looking great. That is looking great. Now, I would say the next important, you can use these this line technique. Just draw these two lines like this. Just, if you just follow what I'm doing, yeah. So you, you create this kind of area where the um, the eyes can fit into quite, um, quite snugly, yeah, yeah. So you just kind of, you can either go with the large circular eyes well, quite a popular use is to have the relatively uh I don't really know how to explain it really. It's kind of an anime style eye, really. It's just like a half of an egg almost. Oh, yeah, that's quite a good way of descri describing it, yeah. But yeah. So you just do that for both eyes inside the these um lines, so when you're done with that just fast, quickly uh, rub all that out. Um, yeah, that's it. it doesn't have to be neat at the moment because you can go over the lines later. Um, I'll just leave it like that for now. So, the eye, filling in the detail of the eye is also integral to the effect of your picture. So, you have a few options here. One quite easy option. Draw this line here. One line. Doesn't look like much now. When you grab your fill tool, fill it in. Notice how it's created this kind of sh glimmer in the eye. You know, you can all, you can also kind of, you know, just play around with the uh, the dots in the eye. They didn't really work there. Like you see, I think it's because I added too many in. Yeah, I'd have to say that because that did not work. Well. Alternatively, there's the um, circle with the bigger circle filling it in. That's that's a yeah that works a bit better, I'd say, than the other technique. So I'd go with this one. And you just fill that in, and we have this this amazing effect going on here, where this circle kind of combines with this this other one here. I think that's just a great effect. Yeah, yeah, that's that's really anime. So next, I would I think um, now's a good time to move on to the hair. Right, I'm scrolling up here because it's a well-known fact that characters in anime or manga, their hair is about three times as the height of their head. So I'm just gonna draw in some hair here. It's normally spiky as well. Here we go. Look at this. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be neat at the moment. You can touch it up later. Now this is a really nice kind of starred effect. I'm getting here. Add another spike in there. I can just join it on like that. At the moment, it doesn't really look like it's like it's hair. It looks like a tree could be behind him. But watch, watch as I do this. Just make this go like that. Oh, wait a minute. Now, if we just rub this line out, just rub it, just rub this line out, then wait a minute. Suddenly, your character has got hair. Your character has hair now. I think that's very suitable, and it really adds to the character. That you can use all types of hair. You know, you got the spiked. The the popular one is to have. Um, actually, that's a good point. A lot of characters like having one of their eyes covered by a 
by a little bit of combed over hair, you know, like, like that. Yeah, perfect, like that. And you just rub that out. Yeah, that's it. And another thing that people don't usually do is um, rub out the eye so you can see right through it. Um, so you don't even need to do anything about that. So next we uh, you can see, you can just plop in an ear, you know. You don't even have to add an ear. It depends on your style, I suppose. But now, the mouth. The mouth is where you're going to be getting all the emotion, the impact. What, what is your character conveying? Now here, I'm going to go with a happy, smiley character. So I'm going to go with a smile. Here we go. So, here we go. Ah, simple smile. Now, that's not very effective as it is right now, but watch. A line in there, and a curved line down here. Now, to add a little extra impact, draw a line like this. I'll just go in there and just touch it up a teeny bit. There we go. Isn't that just great? That really adds to it, doesn't it? Oh, now for the teeth. Teeth like that. And that little look, that little touch there really makes it just anime, doesn't it? And now, anime doesn't really focus on the nose very much, so you can literally just go, there we go, nose, done. So, that's your basics on how to draw an anime character. Um, I'm really impressed by this. I think it's, yeah, really, really good. I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to export this, and I'm going to put this um, on my DeviantArt, because I think that, you know, you know what, that looks just like Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh! So, now, this character that I've just drawn looks exactly like it does in the television show, and I can put this on DeviantArt, and get millions of, uh, of views on it and potentially money because it's it's really great so yeah this should do okay that's exported now so, so anime fan art uh Yu Yu Gi Oh yeah yeah wow this really just changes things doesn't it let's upload this file uh Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. This is just great. So, I submit that. Oh no, it's an error. Oh, it's processing, sorry. Let's get this part out, fast forward. There we go, that's more like it. So, I've got that file, submit. And it's done. It is done. Go down to it. Yu-Gi-Oh fan art, isn't that just great? I love anime. This is my way of showing it. You know, I should be getting hundreds, th possibly thousands of views on this, potentially. Let's zoom in there and get a better look at it. Oh, that's just so good. It's just really great. Really great. I don't know what I just did. It's really great. I mean, thank you guys for um, enjoying my video. And I, I'd really love it if you'd. Uh, Put some of your own artworks in a in a link or a response. So yeah, thanks. Subscribe. You're really, really great. You know that.